Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It's International Sandwich Sunday, and today we're heading over to the Middle East for a chicken shawarma sandwich. Now, shawarma itself uh, originated in the Ottoman Empire in the 18th century, I believe, and that's, of course, Turkey. The word shawarma means rotate because usually meat is piled onto a vertical spit, rotated around a heat source until it fully cooks. It bastes itself as it cooks and it's really delicious and it's wonderful, but I don't have a vertical spit. And yes, I've seen those videos on TikTok and Instagram where people used a, a paper towel holder, a metal one, to make their own version of it. But I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to follow a recipe from Chef Charnia. I've made this recipe four or five times. I love it. I have the seasoning blend uh, usually in the cabinet at all times. I'll post a link to it in my link tree. Uh, if you're on Facebook or Reddit or YouTube, I'll put it in the description below. So first thing we got to do, make a spice blend. Okay, we kick things off with salt and pepper, cinnamon, ground cloves, cumin, coriander, turmeric, chili powder, paprika, and cornstarch. Get that kind of mixed together. Now vegetable oil. Get this into a paste. Now we add in boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Get them all coated, rubbed around. Now this sits in the fridge for a few hours. Now that the chicken's rested, we pack it into a loaf pan. I'm using a disposable one. He uses two mini ones, but my store didn't have any mini ones, so it's gotta make do. Now went to a 350 degree oven for about an hour. Uh, put a baking sheet underneath because those thighs are full of fat and it could bubble over. All right, well that's cooking. Let's make our tahini sauce. Uh, so to tahini, we add yogurt, crushed garlic, and lemon juice. Get it all nice and mixed. Okay, I did have to add a little bit of water because it got a little thick, but I think this is a good consistency for us. Now we mix together tomato, cucumber, pickles, onion, and parsley. We sprinkle that with a little sumac. Sumac has kind of like a lemony flavor to it. You could use lemon juice. Okay, it's been an hour. We want to make sure it's at 165 at least. Yep, 170. That's fine. Can't really overcook chicken thighs. Okay, now to get a little char by putting them under the broiler for a little bit. Normally with a chicken shawarma sandwich, you put the ingredients in the middle and you just sort of fold it around it, but that's kind of like a taco, but let's make a sandwich. Put down some of our chicken. Top that with our pickles, cucumber, onion, and uh, sumac, parsley, and tomatoes. And drizzle on some tahini sauce. Voila. Okay, let's give this chicken shawarma sandwich a go. The chicken is ridiculous. It is so good. That highly seasoned, delicious, super soft chicken with fresh vegetables and that hummus sauce with the lemon and garlic in it. Oh man, it's good. I do want to plus it up with one thing and I, I think you know what that is. I'm gonna add some harissa. That's right, I want a little heat. Okay, let's give this chicken shawarma sandwich plussed up with harissa a go. Delicious flavors. I highly encourage you to make this chicken shawarma recipe. Uh, again, I'll, I'll post it in the description. I'll put it on my link tree. It is phenomenal. It is foolproof uh, and it is delicious. No, it's not exactly shawarma like it's made uh, on a vertical spit, but man, it's good. That sandwich with the uh, fresh vegetables and the parsley and the sumac and the tahini sauce, that's a nine and a half easily. The harissa, uh, it's got chilies, red pepper, I like bell pepper, um, garlic, vinegar, salt. It is just delicious, plus up 10. This is a 10 all the way. I'm definitely gonna finish that. And you'll notice that I made about two pounds worth of chicken. There's a reason. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow. They might say, Barry, you're not gonna get that char that they get on shawarma because you're not doing it in the spit. 